In this video, I will explain the uh, selection of uh, transformer selection, that means sizing and type of transformer uh, in a medium type industry. Okay, and actually uh, the type of industries, uh, industries can be classified into uh, three, uh, small type industry, medium type industry and uh, heavy industries. So small type industries, uh, they get uh, the LT three phase supply. So no need to install a separate transformer or substation in their premises. Whereas uh, in medium type of industries, they get only the uh, HT connection, 11 kV three phase supply. So they should erect a, a separate uh, transformer or substation in their uh, premises. Okay. So uh, actually the uh, the connected load or maximum demand is above 50 kva then uh, such kind of uh, industry is known as median type of industry and they should install a separate substation or transformer so there are a uh, lot of factors uh, that influence the sizing and selection of transformer so the factors are uh, the economy of operation technical suitability then cost long term gains transportation constraints handling facility and availability of supporting switch gear. Uh, now we move to the uh, sizing of a, a transformer because for the sizing of a transformer, the suitable sizing of a transformer is very important factor uh, in a median type of uh, industry. So actually the uh, sizing of transformer can be uh, done by uh, the calculating the connected load. First we calculate the connected load of the industry so we calculate uh, we consider all the uh, motor load all the light load okay all type of loads we consider for calculating the uh, connected load after calculating the connected load then we calculate the maximum demand okay so actually the size of the transformer is decided by the size of the transformer is decided by the maximum demand so an industry install the transformer based on its maximum demand capacity and how the maximum demand calculate means once we calculate the connected load then the maximum demand equal to connected load divided by diversity factor so maximum demand equal to connected load divided by diversity factor so normally in industries uh, we assume the diversity factor is from 1.2 to 1.5 okay 1.2 to 1.5 so uh, normally the maximum demand is less than connected load suppose the diversity factor is one okay diversity factor is one both maximum demand and connected load are equal okay uh, normally in industry in practical case normally the industrial diversity factor is factories ranges from 1.2 to 1.5 okay and some factories uh, they they are considering the uh, diversity factor is one also okay so based on the maximum demand, we uh, select the or we choose the right kind of uh, transformer or uh, proper sizing of transformer in their premises. And also when we install a transformer, we also considering the another factor that is a future expansion. Okay, so the industry are uh, uh, subjected to the future expansion. So more advanced uh, instruments uh, may be installed uh, are installed in future days so that we also consider the future expansion then spare capacity then statutory requirement by the uh, government of uh, kerala or uh, uh, electricity boards or electrical inspectorate then site condition okay that also another factor for installing the transformer site conditions so normally in industrial uh, medium type of industry they uh, they erect a transformer of uh, normally they erect a transformer of uh, 11 kV, 11 kV, okay, 11 kV, 433 volt or 11 bar 0.433 kV distribution transformer in a medium type of industry. So in this module, we are not, mainly we focus the installation of medium type of industry. So all the medium type of industries, they install the capacity, install the transformer capacity or voltage capacity about 11 bar 0.433 kilovolt. So these are the standard size, 50, 63, 80, 100, 160, then up to 2000 kva so uh, at least uh, the connected load is above or maximum demand is above 50 okay maximum demand is above 50 kva you definitely you install a uh, 
distribution transformer of 11 kV bar 0.433 kV. So that is the uh, statutory requirement. Okay, above the maximum demand is above 50 kV. You should you get only the HT connection. So you should direct a, uh, a uh, 11 kV bar 0.433 kV transformer. Suppose the maximum demand is uh, 180 kV. Okay, maximum demand is 180 kV. So we have 160 kV transformer. After that we have 200. So 180 means you should install the minimum 200 kVA transformer. Okay, suppose the capacity is 10 kVA. So you should install the 5 swing of 250 kVA 11 bar 0.433 kVA transformer. So that is the selection of transformer capacity. Then actually the cooling, there are two types of cooling in a transformer. One is oil natural, air natural, ONAN. Okay, so small type of transformer, this ONAN are used. O oil natural, both are natural. Oil, uh, it cools, the uh, it cools, uh, cools the transformer with the oil and air. But it actually that happens in natural process. Next one, oil natural and air forced. So here some blower or fan are used to, to flow the, uh, to increase the flow of air. So that is oil natural, but air is forced. Okay. Then the parallel operation of transformer. We can install uh, more than one transformer in a single industry. But the thing is, if we go for parallel operation, we need to consider some points. So points are same vector group, turn ratio of two transformers should be similar, same percentage impedance voltage. Then ratio of the rate capacity of the transformer shall not be more than 3 is to 1. For example, suppose first transformer capacity is 50. Okay, so you should erect uh, the second transformer of maximum 100 or 160 kVA. So three times of first transformer. So the first transformer is 50 kVA means the second transformer you can, the capacity of uh, second transformer should be 50 or 63 or 80 or 100, maximum 160. Okay, so 200 is not possible because it is uh, above the three times of 50 kVA. So that is the condition for parallel operation. So this is the typical layout of a, a medium type of industry. So the HT connection is uh, getting from the electricity board. Okay, that is 11 kV supply. Then cable, this is the primary cable. Okay, XLPE cable. Okay, 150 square mm cable is used. Okay, primary side. And uh, this is a emergency switch is connected here because any accidents or fire accidents happens in any point of the circuit. Uh, we can easily switch off the this button and we can interrupt complete the supply. So this is the emergency switch. Then after that, uh, em this is emergency switch and this is a load brake switch. Okay, load brake switch. Okay, load brake switch. And after load brake switch, we uh, connect a uh, fuse, primary fuse. So this rating of fuse, okay. Uh, the rating of uh, fuse is depends upon the, the maximum current in the primary side. Okay, rated current in the primary of the transformer. So that is very important. There are the sizing of fuse is very important. The sizing of primary fuse is decided by the, the primary current rating. Okay, primary rating of the transformer. And this is a transformer representation. Normally we are using delta star transformer. And uh, in secondary side, this is a secondary side. We use another type of XLPE cable. Okay. And in secondary side, we install a volt uh, a voltmeter okay volt uh, ct and volt uh, ct and uh, current transformer and uh, pt and voltmeter for measuring and uh, current and uh, voltage detail and we have a, a isolator switch this is an isolator switch okay this is the current current measurement unit this is the voltage measurement unit okay this is a isolator switch with the circuit breaker and this line this this is the bus bar arrow it is also known as msb bus bar or MSB. Okay, so from the MSB, we take the different toppings and we connect our individual loads. So, uh, individual load. Okay, oh, each individual load which uh, which having uh, fuse unit and switch unit. So the current rating of these uh, switch units or fuse rating is based on the the maximum current capacity of the connected load on the circuit. So that's all the typical single line diagram of a transformer substation. Thank you.